Hi guys, this is part three of the bike build and today we're going to be fitting the crank, I hope. Now these are a lot simpler to get on than it is to take them off. That way around it's got to go. I'm going to put the groove here. Slide the crank on. So the hole lines up with said groove. And then hopefully I can bang the uh, corner pin through. It's actually gone straight in. So I'm going to get a little hammer. Just make sure I put the pin in the correct way round. Give that a good old bang in. I've got my nut. I want a little washer. I lost the original washer, so I'm going to replace it. Find one with the correct size hole. Big box full of washers and I can never find the correct one. Will that work? Should work. Put on there. Right. I'm not sure what size that is. It's an 11. It's an 11. I knew it would be one or tighter. <laughs> this is a trouble when you're trying to reuse old cotter pins. might have trouble getting the nut to take on the threads. Let's try that, shall we? Wrong end. There we go, I've got it to take. I'll leave those in temporarily just to continue with this video. What have I done with the other car pin? I have lost the other cotter pin. Bugger. I had it earlier. Hiding underneath the hammer, right? Might have some better luck with this one. I've lost the nut as well to this one. So, bear with me for a second. I'll see if I can find another nut. Got no shiny new one that'll fit. No. Uh, never mind, I'll see what I can find in here. That one fits, that'll do. Mm. That's the same principle for the other side. Oh, 
that one's gone through better. I've got a funny feeling I might have put this round in through the wrong way. I may have to just tap that out and put it back in this side. Maybe what I've gone and done. And to be honest, it wouldn't surprise me, so. I'm going to find another washer. got this cart pin out on the other side um, without damaging it when I took the crank off because uh, that nut's gone straight on. And then mill again. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this one off. We are slightly uh, at a funny angle as well, which could be caused by a wonky pin. So, take out that pin, and we'll try again from this side. That pin's, my crank is more in line now, at least. That's even worse this way around. Mm. I'll leave that like that for now. I won't put the nut back on. But I'll leave that like that for the time being. Uh, I'll try a different cotter pin in this side. Um, I do well. I've got various cranks over at mum's should I need them so I'm sure I can tap one out of a crank there there we go I'll sit you on there for the moment right I don't need to worry about pedals because uh, I should have a pair downstairs but I have been a bit busy I've got front wheel to go in I've got back wheel to go in so that's going to be the next job I had to cheat with the front wheel, it's an alloy wheel. For some reason the inner tube and the rim tape from the original steel wheels fitted this alloy rim, but the tyre didn't, which doesn't matter because I've got these nice Schwab reflective tyres on it. Um, the only cheat I did, this axle, I... Uh, it took off the original front wheel. I didn't think it was going to fit, to be honest. Being an axle with a um, smaller diameter. But uh, it has. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick this wheel in here. And there's a trick to this. You've got to pull the forks out a little to get this damn thing to go in. That can be fiddly. So usually if you can get one side to go first you can get the other side to go. And it's not easy because I'm trying not to stand in the way too much but unfortunately that ain't gonna happen. I've got it started so there I think. There we go, make sure it clicks in. It has. Uh, the only thing I've got to do with the front wheel is give it a clean. I haven't got any steel wool. I've ran out when I've got a tiddly little bit left. But uh, I'll probably get another pack tomorrow. There's that one. Mm -hmm. This one. 
I've got the back wheel prepared as well. Thanks to Biggles, who has uh, donated many, many bike parts to me. As per my vlog video. Right, I'm going to just turn this around. It'll be easier, he says, with the front wheel. <laughs> Although there's more weight on the front now, so that bloody handlebar and fork keeps spinning around. But, I should be fine in a bit. One, two, three, four. It's only going to be a five speed, but that'll do. Oh, for some reason on this wheel, this axle is rather long on this side, and I don't know why. So once I've got this wheel bolted in, I'll grab a hacksaw and I'll just trim the ax the excess off. Right, let's get the wheel in, shall we? In with the wheel. Move the dragger out of the way. Off the dryer. And the other one. Oh yeah, there's a lot of excess, but I can trim that off, it's not a problem. I've got the fan going and I'm really sweating at the minute. Hmm. Might put a spacer or something in there. I think it's going to need it. Can't find a sweat, wa sweat rag, rather not a sweat wag. Just use a dirty t shirt. seeing what I need to do on that back wheel to get it to fit. Uh, it really could do with some spacing in here. Actually, that could do with the rear. This dropout is um, bent under. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop the wheel out. You may have to take the drainer off for this as well. So we'll drop that out. might be able to do it with this. Yeah, I'm going to have to take the drainer off. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use one of these um, barbell spanners or dumbbell spanners. One or the other. I can't remember which one it is now. Just to take this off. This is dead easy to do. He says. <laughs> I haven't got to worry that the cable's attached, I've just got to do that. Enough to slide it off. Just let that hang there. Uh, see, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it with these, but what you can do is something like some adjustables like this on there. And hopefully. too far. That is much better. 
Now, we can slide the drain back into position. He says. <laughs> oh, that's much better. That really is. The only problem with doing it with the gear cable attached, it gets in the way. I do apologise, the bloody stand thing keep moving. I'm trying to look at what I'm doing and not just the camera. And uh, I don't seem to be <laughs> don't seem to be very good at doing both. Then again, they do say women can multitask better than men, so maybe that's true. Maybe I'm just shit at multitasking. <laughs> Alright, that's on now. I don't just want a washer, I want a spacer. Ah. It's going to be too good. Um, I think I've just found what I want. I actually, you can think of it. I'm going to need a little washer. nothing in Let's make sure I've got nothing in my pot of uh, wheel nuts here. Yep. I know I've got some washers specifically for wheels in here. have a lock nut on the bloody left side for the bearing cone so I've had to put one on. Quando hub, high speed free wheel and I haven't got the tool to change that so it's going to have to stay as a five speed free wheel for now. Something, something with a bigger hole in it. work that's going to look stupid. <sighs> I hate that. Ooh, on. What's this one? That's better. Marginally better. Put that on as a spacer for that side. Put the wheel in. and just put another lock nut on this other side. That's why I've just tipped out the box. Let's see if I can find one. It's not looking good so far. Oh, hang on. That might. Yep, found what? Alright. Here we go. We're getting somewhere. Let's prove I am putting a nut on. Well, I'm going to cut the threads down. Right, space back on. Have another go. Be in there. Be in there. 
Not bloody washing getting in the way this side now. We should take it off. Hey, we got a fit. Well, that. Well, not so quickly. <laughs> Make sure this is all aligned in a minute. One. And two. Mm -hmm. Might have to change the rear caliper. Don't have to change the front one though. Maybe, maybe not. I want to try to get some blocks in there. Right. I don't even know if these tubes are good. <laughs> I never tried them. First, I think. And every time I tighten this one up, the wheel is moving over. Let me do that. And get this one cranked down. It's all in line. Crank her up. So, we have wheels and a crank. Or I'll just sort out that other cotter pin. Okay, I haven't got a lot of tape left. So, I'm going to leave the brakes and everything till part four. So, well, actually, no, change that. I'm going to do the brake blocks because they're quite boring. The seat is simple enough to do as well. Uh, so in part four, I'm going to put the pedals on, chain on, and hopefully brake cables. So I'll see you in part four. Well, I suppose for this part, I'll fit some um, brake blocks, hopefully. I've got some here, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to use because they're alloy wheels I'm going to use V-brake type brake blocks because this kind of mount here is exactly the same as what you get on a brake caliper for one of these so when I found my hexagon key which I did see on here earlier so it's probably still buried on here somewhere I've got a hexagon key but that's not the one I want because it's too small. Right. It's good if I've got one in that little box there, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to need not a lot of spacing at all, I don't think. I'm going to try it with just the little washer that comes with these. Because all the other spacing I can put on the other side. Let me stick this. Uh, yeah, it's going to fit. Actually, I can put a little bit of spacing on here, so there's actually a piece missing. That's typical, isn't it? You biatch! Just you have a bit bloody missing. Because you get, um, these little bits in two depths you get de deep ones like this and then you get shallow ones i'm going to go for the shallow one first yep 
these brake blocks are both the same, so I can use these in the rear. That should do it. So I'm going to put this one on here. And one of these sort of domed discs. And crank it up. It's a just, a just, literally just about fit. I don't know if it's going to get any tyre rubbed though, because I haven't pumped the tyres up. So, at the moment, it's um, snug. <laughs> Roti ho. So, I want to put those two in the front, don't I? So I don't know how many people actually know that you can um, use these brake pads on a racing bike. Never even dawned on me, if I'm honest. Not, you know, not when I was first sort of starting out with the. Uh, Doing base cycles. Right. Where's my key? Let's turn this round. Plonk the block in here. And put our spaces on. Bob Junk. <laughs> no, I am going to need. A different caliper on the back here. So I'm only going to do this one up finger tight. Because this side won't reach the rim properly. So I'm going to need a longer one. Doesn't matter, I've got longer ones. Right, but I know the front one fits because I've already experimented. I experimented with that before um, 